Check out my second channel Bob Knob for daily memes. R slash ask reddit. Serious. People who like their job. What do you do? Public library. Everything is free. I don't have to sell anything. People come in because they want to be there. I get to help people who want to be helped. Or provide an environment where they can chill and relax. They only owe money when stuff is late. Edit. Holy cow this blew up. I think I got caught up. I'll catch more responses tomorrow. I need to be up and ready to help the public of my community. But I'll sneak in and gab with you guys tomorrow too. Thanks for your love of the library. Facilities. A glorified janitor. The position has morphed. I started by cleaning floors and toilets. Now so many of my creative strengths are used. We're updating our campus. So we build furniture. Construct new walls and stages. Choose paint colors. Engineer unique solutions for an aging campus. And so much more. I've learned electrical. Concrete work. Welding. Sound engineering. Drywall. Installation of floors. Ceilings. Doors. Stage backdrops. You name it. If something needs to be, be done. We get it done. I love it. Seaplane pilot. Charters. Sightseeing. Fly and fishing. And seaplane flight training. I was a college librarian for 21 years up until recently and loved my job. Interacting with students. Faculty. Technology. Having access to any normal article or book. Having a sense of helping appreciative people. It was a dream. My commute was 7 minutes. Decent pay. Good benefits. I can't do chats. Sorry. My iPad can't handle them. Waste management. I drive a garbage truck. I start early but there are days I'm off at noon. A full 8 hours for me ends at 1.30 and I work 5 minutes from my house. I am in the AC all day and left alone. It's wonderful. I think up and draw cartoons. Every day. A syndicated comic for newspapers. Only learned to draw at age 43 so it's been a cool midlife turn. I'm one of those handful of people trying to be at least a fraction of what Gary Larson was is. I work in a homeless shelter. I was homeless like 10 years ago and it feels good to help the marginalized community I was once a part of. I'm a locomotive engineer. It's badass controlling thousands of horsepower and tons all with my hands. I love running with the window open listening to the power working and waving at people when they wave with more than one finger. I work at a doggy daycare. I left vet teching after 12 years for something less stressful. Edited to add. Since this comment has your attention, can you all please stop naming your dogs the same handful of names? This shit is hard to remember without having multiple lunars, lilies, millers, etc. Thanks. I'll do my best to answer some questions after work tonight. I noticed a lot of the comments have to do with scooping poop. I'm keeping a running tally of how many poops I scooped today. Been at work for 3 hours. And we're already at 44 poops. Edit number 2. Scooped 78 poops in a 9 hour workday. About 9 poops per hour. About a poop every 7 minutes. I guess that is a lot of poop. I'm a meteorologist. I look at weather all around the world and work directly with Fortune 500 companies to help them prepare for natural disasters. Considering I've wanted to be a meteorologist since I was 5, it's a dream come true and I feel blessed. I make replicas of dinosaur fossils for museum display. The company I work for does full-sized replicas. But I primarily work in the division that creates teeth and claw replicas. And a few scaled down skull replicas. For gift shops. I have worked in zoos my entire career mostly as a zookeeper. And now get to travel and work in conservation. Incredibly gratifying and truly feel I have never worked a day in my life with this career. I'm currently a factory worker making sheet metal roofing and siding. It's one of the easiest jobs I've ever had. The work is relatively repetitive, but there's enough variation to keep it from getting boring. The people I work with are kind and funny. Management actually gives a shit about us, and the benefits are fantastic. I love working manual labor. I could never have a desk job. This will sound sad, but at the moment I'm enjoying working as a delivery driver. For clarity, I work for a wage unlike, say, food delivery couriers who are paid piecemeal. It's well below my education level, a BA, second degree in progress, 
and it's nowhere near my passions, information security. I enjoy the job mainly because I'm gaining rapid familiarity with where I live. I get to see small businesses I didn't know existed, like the local place that grows awesome bonsai trees, and interesting houses. I now know which roads are arterials, where they start and end, and which seemingly major roads are utter garbage. Edit. If you are one of those YouTubers what readeth the subreddits for views, please do not do so on this post unless you ask first. Edit edit. As much as I love that reddit shiny, give your money to civil liberties groups like BLM and F instead. I'm a loss prevention person at Burlington. All I do is stand at the door, wipe off carts, and say hi and bye to people coming in or out. Easiest job in the world. Most of my co-workers hate me for the job. Edit. I have conquered the art of being bored. I went through elementary through high school being this bored in a class so this job was no different for me. I'm a social worker. Currently I work with seniors who live alone with a disability and have no family to take care of them. I plan on getting my masters and becoming a therapist. After working construction for 8 years and getting a degree in business I said duck it and followed my passion regardless of what everybody in my life said. I am so ducking glad that I made that decision. It was really hard to get myself into the mindset that it's not too late. Once I was there though, I wasn't leaving. I put my foot down and was determined. Went to a community college. Got 12 credits. Working an entry level social work job and will be applying for my masters once this shit show of a pandemic is over. Or maybe when I cave and decide to do online classes. Either way I feel like I'm living my dream. Even though I'm not nearly where I want to be. Yet. Edit 1. Ro. I appreciate all of the love so much. I fell asleep after posting this last night but I promise I will try to respond to everyone once I get some free time today. I'm a night shift worker at a manufacturing facility. I love being able to set all my machines, read a book, or play on my 3DS, and be by myself. Once all my machines are set, I just need to change finished parts for new blanks every 15-20 minutes. Before the pandemic shut everything down I was a Broadway dresser. I got to work backstage on some awesome shows with pretty costumes and be a part of the magic. It was such a rewarding feeling. I teach history and government at a small rural high school. My students are extremely polite and respectful. It's not often the younger generation calls their elders. Sir, I love what I teach. And I get along with all of my co-workers. I am a speech therapist working with stroke patients. I love rehab. I tried pediatrics but it was not my thing. Rehab is for me. Server slash bartender. IDK everyone sees it as something they want to get out of. I can see the wisdom in getting a career in a growing and stable field. But I honestly enjoy it. The craziness. The good guests the bad guests. People having fun being super inappropriate. People being pissed off for something that really doesn't matter. It's a lot of fun. And for the most part you're in control over how much money you make. Even if I find a big boy job I'd still try and work some shifts at a bar or restaurant. Pay for groceries gas and have fun doing it. I'm a data analyst. I set up and maintain a large amount of data flowing into a database and process it so that it's usable within BI tools and for machine learning projects. Then after it's in a good format I use BI tools to make cool visualizations so that a few couple hundred users who want different things from this data can all go in and be able to find what they need efficiently. Sometimes I also get to do some machine learning projects. Edit. Link to a comment about some good skills to learn to get involved in data analytics. I'm a medical specialized interpreter, and also general one. I like it that much that I am mastering two other languages at the same time Italian and French to be an interpreter English Italian Spanish French. Freelance illustrator and graphic designer. I've always liked the idea of making things that are useful to people in any way, and I always try to apply this mentality into my work. Not to mention that stimulating my creativity is something I've always enjoyed, and something this line of work requires on a constant basis, of course. Creative blocks are an issue occasionally, but it's still something I truly enjoy. I'm a sales executive for a utility company. It's a job that most people imagine would be soul crushing but I genuinely enjoy it. That's not to say it doesn't have its bad moments but it's mostly pretty fun. 
Plus it's a relatively well paid job in a very recession proof industry. So at the moment I'm ducking grateful to have a stable job. As a rather solitary person who doesn't particularly like people trying to talk to me I take a perverse satisfaction in a job where I spend my day trying to talk to people who don't want to talk to me. Software developer and I absolutely love my job. I literally can't say one bad thing about it. I don't even have a degree and I learned everything on my own. Matt Painter for film. It's fun and lives at the intersection between having to have artistic talent and technical experience. Honestly sometimes it can be maddening as I come from a creative background. Traditional illustration and sculpture. So certain programs are like going from speaking French to speaking Chinese. But all in all it's fun to see your work when it's composited into a film and get to see the shots before any VFX goes in. Frankly it's surprising just how many movies use VFX and I can assure you it's almost everything you've seen including smaller independent films. The job I loved. Retail at an adult store. On an almost daily basis I could be helping an 18 year old just start the discovery of what they wanted. To helping a 70 year old grandma find something to stave off the effects of menopause. Side not the grandmas were always the best. No shame. No fears and would flirt and joke with us constantly. I served 10 years in the military and that one job selling sex toys I probably did more to help that community than in 10 years in uniform ever truly helped them as individuals. This is awesome. I'm looking to apply for a job at my local store when things pick up again. Got any tips for the interview job? Park Ranger. I work for the National Park Service. I started off seasonal and got to visit 6 different national parks. Getting paid to live people's vacation and be in most beautiful places. Now I am settled permanently on the National Mall where I get to work with special events. Getting to see firsthand all the amazing events that go on in Washington DC and be a part of it all. This will probably get buried. But I'm a winemaker. Plenty of cool things about it. Especially if you actually enjoy drinking wine. I teach college and I love it so much. I get paid well to conduct daily TED talks on topics I love discussing. I also love public speaking and these students pay thousands to listen to me tell stories. I also show an episode of The Office during class which is my favorite show. It also feels great to ask a student for a beating and ask them how you can help their mental load. And then giving them the thing they need. It's like Oprah everyone gets an extension. I don't quite give them away. But when I can make reasonable adjustments to help someone, I always do. I am constantly surprised I am paid for this gig. Where stylist. I chose this career instead of pursuing a career with my college degree. It allows me to be creative, work in a social environment, I can wear whatever I want, and I get to help people feel good about themselves when they look in the mirror. I'm an epidemiologist. First year out of school. Certainly an interesting first year, and I'd say I probably have some job security right now. Aerospace engineer. I design fighter jets and satellites for a living. Software engineering. I love designing logic and solving problems with code. It can be pretty frustrating sometimes, but highly rewarding afterwards. Senior Clinical Research Associate, Oncology. I switch projects every few years and get to learn new indications very thoroughly. My background is molecular biology and when I get the right projects I really love what I do. Unfortunately, there is a ton of paperwork and regulation involved and I spend a lot of time writing reports. Actor in Live Theater, I ducking love. D. My job. I was recently Squidward in the Spongebob musical on tour in the US. Corona took that away. Reading through these it seems most people who like their job like it because they work with good people and have good managers. Marine engineer. I like solving problems. And the moment you figure out how to do something is a golden feeling. Technical editing. As a kid I enjoyed editing articles on Wikipedia. So this seemed right up my alley. I'm a kennel worker. Every day I clean out the kennels, feed, play and cuddle dogs and cats off all cuddly shapes and sizes. I work at a Star trek space simulator as an actor and a supervisor. I get to make a room full of people think they're in a spaceship and fight aliens and stuff. Corporate accounting. I love working with numbers and with Excel. 
so the job is a natural fit for me. Also, being work from home since March has made the job even better. I can wake up 5 minutes before work starts and never be late. It I make chili con queso, and salsa and pepper jellies and stuff. I'm a nurse that currently oversees a geriatric memory care unit, but my passion is special needs and geriatrics, the elderly. I love nothing more than making people who have special needs or memory care disabilities happy and feeling better. It fills my heart emotional battery more than it drains it. Their smiles, their laughs, their brief moments of lucidity and joy in what memories make them feel happy again. I would gladly dodge punches, scratches, verbal aggression, out of fear and confusion, every day for those fleeting but brightly burning moments of happiness in their lives. I'm a nurse. It's physically and mentally demanding at times, but I feel very fulfilled. ESL teacher working with refugees and immigrants. I'm a doctor specializing in emergency medicine and sub-specializing in pre-hospital emergency care helicopter emergency medical services. I blend, bag, package and ship coffee at a local roastery. I'm the entire crew except the roaster. It's the absolute best job in the world, and has made me into a total coffee snob, but I love it. I'm a city bus driver and I adore my job. It doesn't feel like I'm working. Feels like I'm doing people favors. Can you give me a ride to the doctors? Can you give me a ride to work? Can you take my cat to the vet? I'm a drug and alcohol recovery worker in a prison and I love it. The biggest thing I've learned is that some of these men just never had the chance to succeed. So many were born into abusive, addicted families so drugs and crime is all they've ever known. But many of them are so kind and funny, they just never got the right opportunities in life. Which is where I come in. Disability service worker. Public defender. My job is incredibly frustrating and frequently rage inducing. But sometimes, every once in a while, I get to touch someone's life in a good way. Those moments make it all worthwhile. I make sandwiches. I like to do stuff with my hands. I love editing. I've been writing since, probably the age of 4 or 5. Ever since I learned how to read, mostly on the level of the dog crossed the street and died back then. But I figured it out. I know how to put a story together and I know how to take it apart and put it back together again. Stronger and better. I come from a long line of mechanics and machinists. I think I have some genetic quirk that makes me want to work with my hands and this feels a lot like it. I am terrible at actually working with my hands. I ghostwrite romance novels too and that's fun. I like breathing life into stock characters and making the best of the outlines I get. And it's rewarding knowing I'm fulfilling somebody's fantasies and need for escapism. I do just bang them out, though. My passion lies in the children's book I just wrote and I hope to get legitimately published as a children's author under my own name someday. Nota bene. I used to be an Amazon pune before this and anything is better than Amazon. Not to sound arrogant or anything, but I absolutely could not tolerate doing a single repetitive task for hours. I need mental stimulation and I can't be happy in a job where I can't use my brain. I was legitimately suicidal working that job. I work with female indigenous youth on an island a ferry ride away from my home. We paint, do crafts, go for walks and talk. Today I picked berries, painted in a grassy field and found baby crabs on the beach. I sell wedding dresses. I work at a grocery store. I love my co-workers. We're tight. My managers are really helpful and understanding. And I guess I just like working. I've done a lot of volunteering before this so now that I'm still doing things for others but getting paid. It's pretty wild. Also, my co-workers are so fun. Did I mention them? Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.